guys, it's Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm doing another favorites video. I f***ing love favorites videos. I don't know what it is. They're just my favorite. I love sharing products with you guys. I'm a product junkie, so it makes it really easy. So I'm doing some hot new shit favorites, but I feel like this is also kind of a very winter appropriate hot new shit because a lot of this stuff is stuff I've really been using a lot this winter, AKA a shit ton of skincare because it's winter. I live in Detroit. It's like five degrees outside right now. So like skin is dry, so lots of skincare. You guys know I will have everything linked down in the description bar if you want to check it out. If I have deals or coupon codes for anything, I will have that down there for you guys as well. And no, none of these items are sponsored. I'm not being paid to talk about any of these items, but some of the links are affiliate links, but y'all know the deal, that's how it works on YouTube. So if you guys are new to my channel, hello, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. And if you wanna hear some of my hot new shit, some of my favorite things, y'all can go ahead and keep on watching this video. so I was not lying when I said this is a shit ton of skincare like there's so much skincare but they're all really good items and I feel like you guys need to hear about them so roll with me so let's start with skincare since there is so much of it first of all my lips are forever dry and I'm constantly on a mission to find something to moisturize them and I feel like I am constantly disappointed in everything but this trio is my winter power trio for dry lips right now. It is the Aquaphor Lip Repair. It is the Kopari Coconut Oil Lip Gloss. And then the Laneige Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I have been rotating the three of these just like day and night. And I'm not sure which one I like the best, but I feel like all three are really doing me well this winter. This one I typically put on at night because it is a little, t t because it is a little thick and a little tacky, but super moisturizing. So I feel like I use this one the most at night. And I feel like the Kopari is the one I reach for the most during the day. But honestly, I've used all three day and night. And I feel like all three are doing me really well currently. So you guys have seen these bad boys on my favorites before for and on my skincare videos and I am currently using the whole lineup for winter. It is the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench line. It is the Hyaluronic Acid line that is, if you guys don't watch me, if you don't listen to me, I am obsessed with Hyaluronic Acid. It is a power anti-aging ingredient. It is a power moisturizing ingredient. It is just, Hyaluronic Acid can hold like thousands of times percent its weight in water. So it really holds in water and makes the skin plump, full, youthful looking, hydrated, and it is like a game changer in the winter and also for anti-aging. So y'all know I'm all about it. So literally I'm using the whole lineup right now. I'm using the Cloud Cream Cleanser, I'm using the Hyaluronic Acid Serum, I'm using the Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizer, and then this is the newest item which I just got and I am so in love with it. So I got this at Ulta, I'll check, I think it's probably on Amazon by now too, I'll have it in the link wherever you can get it the cheapest, but the Hyaluronic Acid Hyaluronic Micro Bubbling Cloud Mask. If you guys are a mask junkie, you will be obsessed with this. You put it on, it's super thick and creamy, but when you put it onto your face, it transforms into a like foam mask. So it's white and foamy and you look a little crazy and you can leave it on for up to 15 minutes. But I've been using this like several times a week, especially after like a peel or a peel pad. And I find this is doing so much for my skin. I love this. This is probably my favorite of the favorites in skincare right now. So if you guys are looking for a mask that is super hydrating, definitely give this one a shot. I love all PTR's masks and this one right now is my oh my god holy grail favorite. Now this is a new hyaluronic boost gel I've been trying. This one is from Vanity Planet and I'm going to do a full video about their whole line of gels and serums and their moisturizer they just released because it's a really cool concept. You can get their moisturizer and then mix in all these add-ins to it to create like a custom cocktail. There's going to be a full video, don't worry. But this is the one I have really been enjoying the most, and this is the Hyaluronic Boost Gel. So you can use this before your moisturizer. You can mix it into your moisturizer. It is so good, though. It has hyaluronic acid and aloe in it, but it's just a really lightweight gel. It's not greasy or anything, and you can add it into a moisturizer, like I said, or put it on by itself. I like I said, I'm obsessed with hyaluronic acid. So when I got the chance to try this, I was like, yes, oh my God. And I do have a code for you guys. I will have it linked down below where you guys are gonna get it super, 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 super ridiculously cheap. And you guys, I will have the link down there for you to get it and save some money and try this bad boy out. It is such a versatile, cool product and it's definitely gonna be making its way 
further into my skincare routine beyond winter, I can tell. It's just an easy add-on to kind of pamper your skin and give it a little bit more moisture. Now the next two skincare items I have are a little bit more exfoliating, toning, and anti-aging focused. So the first thing I've been trying are these First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. So they come in a little jar like this, and these are to exfoliate, tone, and brighten the skin. These have, I wanna tell you the ingredients really quick. These have aloe hyaluronic acid, you know that's my girl. But these also have lactic acid and glycolic acid in them, which are great for resurfacing the skin, smoothing the skin, reducing the look of fine lines, pores, brightening the skin, exfoliating any dead skin on the surface. Like these are really, really good and you can use these daily. They're not as harsh as a peel that you would do like once a week. You can use these every single day. I like to use them at night when I do a larger like skincare routine. And I find that using them after my moisturizer, it just really like tones and preps the skin for all of the skincare I'm gonna put on. So it penetrates a little bit better so I am loving these facial radiance pads and they're really reasonably priced too I feel like they're not as expensive as some of the higher-end skincare but they still deliver a really good result with those glycolic and lactic acids in there and then I mentioned this on my Instagram stories when I got it. This is the Insta Natural lines. This can be bought on Amazon. And I had seen the Skinny Confidential talk about one of their serums a lot. I don't think it was this particular one, but I saw this one and I've been wanting to incorporate a retinol into my life because as you guys know, I just turned 30 and I'm trying to hold off the Botox as long as possible. I'm not saying I won't try it, but trying to do as much for my skin and anti-aging as I can before I start doing it. So. I decided to invest in a retinol serum and I shouldn't even say invest because this was so reasonably priced. I wanna say it was around 20 bucks. I got it on Amazon and the reviews on this were like through the roof. Like they were four and a half, almost five stars. And so many people were just raving about this, that this $20 serum from Instant Natural gave just as good, if not better results as so many other pricey retinols out there. What I really like about this serum is not only is it a retinol serum, which is going to help anti-age resurface, regenerate the new skin cells, smooth, reduce the look of lines and wrinkles and pores. It also has vitamin C and hyaluronic acid again in it. So vitamin C is going to tighten, brighten, and lighten the face. And then hyaluronic acid is gonna plump it and make it look youthful. And I can tell you guys, I am obsessed with this right now. I'm using it every single night. The retinol is not so intense that it's making my skin sensitive from daily use, but I've literally used it religiously every single night and I am loving it. I feel like my skin just looks really smooth. I went to work the other day and one of the girls was like, what are you doing different in your skincare routine? And it was literally, I'm like, this is what it is and I know it is because I've seen such a smoother surface. And she said, your skin just looks really smooth. Like your forehead looks really smooth. And I was like, yes, mission accomplished. So guys, if you are looking to try out a retinol, if you are looking for a retinol that has some other skin loving ingredients in it, definitely try this one out on Amazon. Y'all need to get this. Now, before bed, I like to slather my hands and my feet with some kind of heavy moisturizing cream. So it really sinks in overnight because my hands get so dry in the winter. So I have been loving the Bath & Body Works Sleep Aromatherapy. I love a good lavender. It's so relaxing before bed. It's kind of like a nice little self-care routine. Like I get in bed with my dogs and I like get my cream. I put my lip stuff on. I rub my hands and my feet with my cream like it's just my little self-love self-care routine so this lavender is amazing I love the smell of lavender it helps me relax and it's just a little pampering it's nice before bed so this is a nice heavy cream that is really going to moisturize deeply for the winter skin now this next item I am really excited to tell you guys about because I was given the opportunity to try this out and I was like yes this looks like so much fun and I want to tell you guys all about it because it is so affordable. It's on Amazon. I'll have it linked below, but it's just such a fun, cute, like the branding is on point. This little skincare, like this would be a great gift for someone too. Not only am I loving it, but I would give this as a gift. So this is the Bounce Back Book, the seven step face clay treatment book from Skin of Homework. So you get this little, you open it. It's literally a book. It's so cute. And it has the little thing from the company and then there's a table of contents and there's seven clay masks in here. Each one is different and each one has a different purpose and does a different thing. And you literally do a different one every day for seven days. So you do like a full week like intensive masking and it's supposed to cover like every area of your skincare needs. 
I think this is so fucking cute. This is such a good idea. I've bought mask sets before, but not one that laid out like, this is gonna do this, this is gonna do this, and you're gonna do them seven days in a row. It's like a seven day like boot camp for your skin, basically, like a whole detox routine. Just to give you an idea of what these are, there's the Lost in Space Cleansing Mask, which is a charcoal mask. There's the Minty Fresh Detoxifying Mask, which is infused with tea and mint and just, ooh, so good. There's the Flower Fortification Mask, which is Strengthening, Panacea of Youth Tightening Mask, the Vitamin Infusion Vitalizing Mask, the Elixir of the Oasis Hydrating Mask, and the Sleeping Beauty Refining Mask. Now, I will tell you guys some of my favorites in here. The first day you do the Lost in Deep Space Cleansing Mask, which I had this on my Insta stories, but it is like a charcoal peel off mask and it has glitter in it and it mimics one of those crazy black masks everyone was doing back in the day and like crying pulling it off their skin but it's way more gentle it's not so intense to where it's like ripping hair out of your skin or anything like that so I did like this one it was fun it really got the dead skin and everything off and I made Andrew do it too and he was so pissed I put glitter on him but oh well uh, let's see. I loved the Elixir of the Oasis one. This one has uh, hyaluronic acid in it, so you know it's my fave. But this one is like a creamy mud mask. So this one really locks in the moisture. These all smell good, you guys. Like, this is such a f***ing cute idea. So pissed I didn't create this product myself. Love the Sleeping Beauty Refining Mask because this is a sleeping mask. So you leave it on overnight and it soaks it up like a moisturizer so you don't actually rinse this one off. I love sleeping masks because I love that when you go to sleep at night, your skin has the opportunity to really like reap all the benefits and all the good ingredients. So this one like stays on your skin and you just wake up like plump and hydrated and refreshed and so good. This one I really loved too actually. This is the vitamin infusion one. This one has vitamin C, B in it. This one really helps you have glowy skin. So it's gonna bring out the glow and the hydration. Like you guys, these are so cute and so good. And this, like I said, would be the cutest gift. And then they also give this cute little notebook with it that you could like track or draw. It's like a little bullet journal, like it has little dots. So I thought that was super cute too. And then it does have like the full list of all the ingredients in the masks on the back of it. So you can really read about what is in each one and really know what's going on in your skin. So I will have this link down below. Like I said, it's on Amazon, super affordable. Check it out. It's fun, but it's also a great gift too. So these two things, this one's kind of skin, kind of makeup, but this is the, I've mentioned it before, the Becca Skin Love Glow Elixir, Glow Nectar Brightening Hydro Complex, Hyaluronic Acid in this bad boy per usual, but I have been putting this on underneath my foundation. Like when I do my primer, I put a little bit of this on and it's such a good prep for the skin. It leaves it really soft and hydrated. And I feel like my foundation is just going on so much more glowy and dewy and healthy looking even in these winter months. So I'm really, really loving this. And then the newest product in my makeup beauty arsenal, which I have been loving, is the Benefit Cosmetics Roller Liner Liquid Eyeliner. So I am so fucking picky about liquid eyeliner. Like I want something that's gonna stay put. It needs to be water resistant, not smudge. I just like something I can put on. It has a nice tip. It's precise. It's gonna stay put all day. And I was really skeptical of this because I have not used many liquid liners that I've liked. I liked Stila and I liked the Kat Von D one. And I saw the marker tip and I was like, okay, precise point tip, I like that. And I have been wearing this a lot lately. You guys know I have lash extensions, so I don't wear as much eye makeup as I used to, but what I've been doing is almost doing like a wing and just bringing it halfway across. And I find that even when my lashes are really sparse and thin and I need a lash extension fill and they look like shit, it does a really good job disguising it. And it just is like an easy, quick wing. I find that it doesn't water off if my eyes water. It stays put all day. It doesn't transfer. So I have really, really been liking the Benefit Cosmetics Roller Liner Eyeliner. So check it out if you haven't already. Go see your girls at your local Ulta Benefit Brow Bar and they can hook you up with this. So my next item is gonna be a book that I've been really enjoying lately. <laughs> you guys, let's cut the shit, it's my book. But I wanted to mention this in here to tell you guys, if you have not checked out my newest book yet, 30 a it is on Amazon and Kindle now. It is 30 things I learned during my quarter life crisis. And if you guys remember the cover shoot, you can watch the video on my YouTube channel. If you go back a couple of videos, it's on there. But I vlogged the entire photo shoot shooting the cover for it. Andrew vlogged it for me. Andrew was my great cameraman. I had so much fun writing this book and doing the cover and everything. And it's been so awesome to see you guys ordering it and leaving it amazing reviews on Amazon. So if you guys have not checked out my newest book yet, I will have it linked down below. Make sure you check it out. And 
if you have bought it or are reading it make sure you leave her a review on Amazon I love reading y'all's reviews and it makes me so happy to hear that you guys are enjoying this book and loving it as much as I love it too so the last two things are fashion clothing related so the first thing is one of the CC hats but this is the ponytail top knot version so it has the hole in the top so literally I could have it on right now with my scrunchie sticking out I'm not gonna do that on camera for y'all but these are so cute for when you're gonna be outside but you don't want your hair down and you don't want hat hair you can throw your hair up in a ponytail or a top knot a messy bun and it goes right through the top of the hat but your head still stays warm so if you are living somewhere that is cold right now I can tell you this is so convenient if you want to have your hair up but still have a hat on definitely a great investment and then my last favorite are my Sorel winter boots um, I didn't jump on the Sorel craze right away but I am so obsessed with these. If you guys live somewhere cold or if you're going somewhere cold and there's going to be snow, these are so freaking cute. They're fur, they're slip-on, so they're easy to put on and off when you're going outside. They have a black suede, but they're rubber on the bottom, so they're really good in snow, ice, slush, all that shit that we have right now in Michigan. And also, balling on a budget hack, if you guys have small feet like me, I actually got the children's size. So these are like a children's five I think a four or a five I'm not sure but you can get them a lot cheaper if you can fit into a children's size just letting you guys know so super cute if you're looking for a winter boot definitely check these out so I think that is all the things I have to talk to you guys about today so yeah definitely check these items out like I said they're all linked down below you guys can run down there and grab any of them or check them out if you are interested in more info I hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you leave me a comment down below if you are checking out any of these items or if you're already loving and using any of these items yourself make sure you guys are giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel so you do not miss any of my other videos I will be face on the screen here per usual if you click it you'll be subscribed to my channel and you will also have some other videos to check out as well but I think that is all I have to say right now so until next time I will catch you all in my next video bye